Grüß euch und Servus miteinander. Hi everybody, friends of Japanese art prints. My name is Dieter von Schura. I am the owner and manager of the Artelino Company. The Artelino Company sells Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions. And the subject of today's video is especially this design. The title is Cry of the Fox. Uh, made by Yoshitoshi and it's from the most famous series by this artist. The series title is 100 Aspects of the Moon or in Japanese Tsuki Hyakushi and I'm going to explain that later a little bit in detail. But first a few words about Yoshitoshi. He was born in 1839 and lived until 1892. He lived during this transition of Japan from the medieval Edo period to the modernization of Japan under the Meiji period. The Meiji period started in 1868 and of course such fast transitions are always accompanied by unrest and in that case even by some kind of civil wars and economic hardships. Yoshitoshi, he was a student, by the way, of Kuniyoshi Utagawa, the great printmaker of the Edo period. And Yoshitoshi had to go nearly through all his life through very economic hardships and he really had tough times. Only towards the end of his life he received finally the recognition of the public and uh, could also get some modest wealth towards the late years of his life. He was employed by a newspaper and that gave him a stable income. Yoshitoshi also suffered from mental, mental illness and from depression, especially towards the end of his life. This series, collectors know it well, it's really famous. 100 aspects of the moon or in Japanese Tsuki Hyakushi. Yoshitoshi created this series during the last seven years of his life. So that took seven years and the series consists of 100 single prints. So every month uh, a new design came to the market published by the publisher Akiyama Buemon and there are reports that it was in great demand by the public. There were long queues when a new uh, design came out and it was sold out uh, in a flash. You can read that by the way in a book uh, written by Stevenson which uh, is written only f about this series. It's great, unfortunately I can't show it to you, I don't have it with me. Um, that book shows one plate and one good description for each of these 100 designs. Why 100 aspects of the moon? Each of the designs has the moon somewhere a little bit difficult to find as a common denominator. But it's not actually about the moon. Most of the subjects about are about the history uh, of Japan about old legends but also common um, subjects all a little bit retrograde a little bit backward looking. Yoshitoshi was not a, a figure that jumped on, 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 on the new era he was a yeah, rather conservative backward looking. Well I already mentioned it, the series was published during the last seven years of Yoshitoshi's life from 1885 until 1892 and they were first published as single prints. Okay, I have to mention that because these single prints are uh, referred to by collectors today as the first edition and they are by far much more in demand than a later edition which was published by the same publisher Akiyama Boemon but as an album. As an album you could imagine that as a kind of a, of a book and that album was posthumously published from the 
original blocks made, okay, fine. Um, but it's rather different because it was published on, as an album. The margins are trimmed and you recognize it uh, from the backing uh, of the, the paper. You can today, you can hardly uh, buy one of these original albums anymore. Why? Um, they're all bought up by dealers and then the dealers tear them apart and sell them as single prints because it makes more money uh, compared to selling the complete album. But that's another topic, but I just want to mention it. Uh, prices for these album prints or original first edition single prints, they vary sharply. Uh, by the way, the original first edition uh, is by far more expensive because the woodblocks, they are the same, but the first copies that you pull from a wooden block, the impression is better. When you pull, let's say, after 5,000 copies, well then the wood blocks are worn off and the impression is not that good. And therefore collectors are willing to pay higher prices, sometimes considerably higher prices for these early editions. And by the way, the prices also vary largely on the kind of designs. Some designs are not so much in demand and some very high for the first edition, several thousand dollars. This is, by the way, Cry of the Foxes, the title. This is one of the rarer designs and it's a first edition. And I'm going to explain you now, okay, how you can recognize and uh, how you can interpret these Japanese characters here a little bit. Well, this here, that is the signature and the seal of the artist Yoshitoshi, there with the pink um, cartouche, that's the title of the series, Tsuki Hyakushi in Japanese, and that's the title of this design, Cry of the Fox in Japanese. Finally, here you have the can you see that? Let's move it a little bit up. Well, this black um, round cartouche, that's the seal of the carver. And here you have a bunch of characters in red on the left margins. Let's go over it from top down to bottom. This is the date. It says uh, this was given in Meiji 19th in January, which is 1886. Then here we have the name and address of the artist. Um, that is the original name of Yoshitoshi. And the original name was Tsukiyoka Yonejiro. Uh, and it also contains the address. And here we have the name and address of the publisher Akiyama Buemo. Printing and publishing dates were required by law since 1887. Yeah, and this is a very good example where you can see it on a, a real print how it was transformed, and I assume most of you are not that good in reading Japanese characters. Um, so I hope that was a little bit useful for you. Well, um, this print is offered in one of our auctions. It will be offered in auction 1590. It runs from August 18th until August 25th of 2019. And the reserve is $1,200. That's very competitive. And yeah, I mentioned it already. There's a, a good book by Stevenson, where you can find the whole series with all the information. Very good uh, and a full page image, really recommendable if you're a serious collector of Yoshitoshi and Meiji prints.
Well, um, I think I did not forget anything of importance for today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in our auction 1590 August 18th 2019 on a Sunday at 8 p.m. Middle European time will be the start. Thank you, goodbye and have a nice time.